Welcome back to Dracon's Place, Dark Souls 3. Alright, let's go back up to the old Dragon Slayer's armor and take him on again. So, two handing would be nice for the extra DPS, but my um, shield with its high lightning defense in 100% physical has been blocking enough. Well, has saved me a few times from actual death. And last time I fought him yesterday, I managed to do quite a bit of damage. So, a few attempts to get back into the rhythm would be my guess. And then should be able to take him down. Wish my DPS was higher. Okay. I thought I had some more time there. Back off when he goes to two hand. Got it. Crap. Oh, that'll teach me. Old Dragon Slayer's armor. That's really weird that I'm just fighting a reanimated suit of armor. So I'm not fighting an actual guy. Now, the only dragon slayers I know of... Well, actually, there was a few in Dark Souls 2. But, Dark Souls 1, you would... Dragon Slayer Ornstein. Dark Souls 2, you had the old dragon slayer, who looked... A lot like Ornstein. It was just like a direct callback, even at some of the same, like, move set. This, though, does not resemble him at all. It just bears the old Dragon Slayer name. So there doesn't seem to be a connection. When we get his boss soul, We'll have a much better answer on that. That thing's crazy. Whoa! That was not like before. Alright. Okay. Whoa! I was a little further away there than I thought. Damn it. 
I don't. Oh, crap. I've lost the rhythm of this fight. I'm not. I'm actually not even trying to block. I'm just going to two hand it. Extra damage, and I think the two handed are ones a little bit faster. Is it? We'll have to see. Actually, if I'm, if I'm gonna go ahead and two hand, switch over to the grass crest for the extra stamina recovery. That lightning shield was nice for the moderate security it gave me. The problem is he absolutely destroyed my stamina when I blocked. And honestly, I wasn't even trying to block in those last few rounds. So let's just relearn this fight two-handed. Not be dumb about it. I appreciate that um, most of his attacks are one-hit kills, except for obvious ones like the two-hand. I appreciate that. Dragon Slayer armor. It's not even old Dragon Slayer. Screw you with that two, with that double combo. Whoa! Okay. You are being much more aggressive. in there. Alright, commence fast forwards. Alright, so, we're back. Obviously, I have not defeated him. Um, I was doing better for a bit, but then I just started losing my touch. So, for now, we're going to try going back to the King's Consumed Garden. Where hopefully I'll fare better, get some upgrade items, level up. So, a few differences to be noted. My Claymore is now um, refined, which gives it much better scaling. A little bit lower base damage, but I have enough stats now to back it up. I'm also wearing the King's Ring instead of Havel's. So I do not have my Torch or Longsword handy. Why the hell am I fat rolling now? He did some sort of crazy buff. Yeah, he's buffed. Why? I just don't have any luck with anything today. I'm not... Oh my. Really. Enemies should not be able to cause you... <sighs> Why am I overweight now? Oh, I switched shields. 
crap. That's unfortunate. Okay. Not an enemy buff thing, that's just me being an idiot. This shield weighs a little bit more. I need to put some points into Vit. I need to fix this problem. I don't want to be relying on Havel's ring. I want things like the Knight's Ring where I can get extra damage. Mentig. There we go, that's what I wanted. Cathedral Knight Leggings, Large Titanite Shard. I have a ton of Large Titanite Shard. I need chunks. That's what I'm down to. If I get more chunks, I could fully upgrade my longsword. I would also like to switch my longsword over to Refined, because Refined bumps up your scaling. But, yeah, not going through that door and immediately fighting one of those things. Yeah, refine bumps up your scaling. And when you're at this stage of the game, That is extremely handy. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh good, he has hyper armor on that attack. Titan Eye Chunk. Alright, firebombs work well on those jerks. Great, he's buffed. Oh, this one's strong. Oh, crap. Got him. Cathedral Knight Gauntlets, Large Side Knight Shard. There are a lot of those things in this place. Seven thirty off that stab. Twenty 
Claw. Black Fire Bombs. Oh, this stuff is toxic, isn't it? Oh, that is totally toxic. Dang it all. King's consumed gardens indeed. Well, crap. Thanks for the hint game. I appreciate that. A dark gem. And crap, I'm almost dead. Large Titanite Shard. Human Pine Resin. Titanite Chunk. Dang, this toxic is long lasting. Toxic is super bad in this game.
All right, it finally wore off. Where the? Where am I? What the heck is this? All right. Well, I got a Titanite scale. Is this the door I think it is? Got another chunk. I, I love that detail of having to unlock it. Yes, it is. Interesting. Is this some sort of weird shortcut? Not much of a shortcut, to be honest. I don't quite see the point. Alright, well we're making progress anyways now. As opposed to me throwing myself at Dragon Slayer armor for over... For like an hour-ish. And just losing it near the end. Why wouldn't there be a secret? Dragon Scale Ring. Reduces damage from backstabs. Ooh. Ring of Orpheus, former king of... Former king of Lothric reduces backstab damage. In his later years, Orsthus became fascinated with dragons. After going mad, he was once commonly known as the Consumed King. Many assassins were dispatched to his domain, but none returned. The Consumed King ascribed his re resilience to the divine protection of the dragon scale. with these guys. Whoa. There's no stairs there. That is actually not fair. Really? Why would there be a drop? 
Oh my. That is a problem. Okay, so I have a shortcut thing. And we sent the elevator up, so that's convenient. Those resistance meters have been popping up for no reason, apparently, that I can figure out anyways. I don't know what's going on with them. All the way down, step on the button, bring it back up for us. So that that room with those two great swords guys is going to be fun. I one guy like that with a great sword is a problem. But two. Two is a definite issue. Okay. on break none of that none of that the lock on just randomly broke and then I got mashed into the wall and he just has one attack that ignores my shield the dang dragging attack why with the resistances I'm not wearing anything that increases resistances. Not like that, anyways. I think I'm bugging the stupid game out. Alright. Let's try this again. Okay, if I can get one of them, I have the much larger center area to fight the second. Which is nice. Hey, my firebombs restock. Oh, it plays like Bloodborne with bullets. And blood veils. That's actually a nice touch. I appreciate that sort of thing. I really do. For a second I thought these might be poisoned water. Yeah. 
Well... Got him. Magic stone plate ring. Yeah, if we didn't take that top route, he would, both of them would have been getting buffed. Alright, so now I have a ring that increases my magic damage absorption. What the heck did I find? There's no bonfire in this entire zone. There's just a boss. Why is this my life? Why is there just a boss down here? I got two chunked? What are you? You're a dragon. You're like C, oh, the scale of My beloved Ocelot, child Ocelot. of dragons. Well, I will not give him up. For he is all that I have. He is a staff. So, is this a magic? Yeah, he's a... Oh, he actually has legs. He is weird! I'm getting Seath the Scaleless vibes off of him a little bit, but he seems to be some sort of spellcaster. Well. Skipping through that. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. That's totally like a frost thing. Okay, he's a lot more beast-like now. That seems to have some sort of dark buff on it. Whoa!
What the? Okay. He is almost dead. Oh, that is a curse. Gotcha. Soul of the Consumed Aura. Aureus. Orcia. Alright, that's where I came in. Anything in this room now that I can freely explore it? Okay. Bonfire lit. Do I have a hundred and ten K? Nothing in this room. All right. Well, he beat a boss. Something called the Consumed King, you would think would be Lord of Cinder. But no. Just a boss. I don't know if he's optional or not. Why are those constantly popping? Alright. Let's see. Alright. Orceus went mad and tried to harness his royal blood for greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives, where he discovered the twisted worship of Seath the Pale Drake. I knew I was getting Seath vibes off that. Welcome home, my speak. Very well, then take Nari. Alright, so I need some bit. I'm sure... 4k? And then a little bit? Farewell, mate. So I need 4k. Soul of a wary warrior, that's worth 5. Large soul of a nameless soldier. I'm up to 38. Unknown traveler. Let's see, it's 39,367, I have 39,308, so I need two fading souls, whoops. Alright. Let's bump up strength one. Farewell, I mean. Yeah, so those don't actually count for your ring. So I'm up... Nice, 415. That's a decent damage boost. Alright. I was definitely getting... Seath vibes off this guy. And they went to the Grand Archives, which was what... Was once the Duke's Archives... In Dark Souls 1, where Seath the Scaleless lived and did all his work. So, that's all tying up together nicely.
Why are all those damage meters building up? But anyways, I'm going to wrap the one up here. Next time, we're going to go through those doors and see what secrets is held back there. So I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye! There he is. Are we gonna have to save Bowser? Black! <laughs> Black! Well, this guy's weird. Oh, and all of Bowser's minions. And Luigi. Sheesh. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy.